North Korea has accused South Korea of using drones to drop propaganda leaflets over its capital Pyongyang. North Korean state television has broadcast these unverified images of what it says are drones and bundles of leaflets. Its foreign ministry has called the incident a dangerous provocation that could escalate into an armed conflict. In response, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said it, quote, cannot confirm the truth of North Korea's claims. Now, let's get more on this from journalist Fabian Kretschmer in Seoul. Fabian, what else can you tell us about this alleged incident? Yes, yeah, so the uh, accusation actually started yesterday when North Korea, um, the central news agency, first reported about it. And today, actually, a North Korean state media have uh, really prominently reported about it uh, for their do domestic audience. I think that's quite um, significant. Now, um, actually, the South Korean military immediately said uh, or rejected that claim and they said they cannot uh, confirm that they sent drones to uh, the North Korean capital of Pyongyang. But it would have been really a stark provocation if it's true. I also don't know if I can verify it or falsify it. It's impossible at this stage. But um, this has never happened before that North Korea um, made an accusation like this. And um, yeah, basically, it's a form of information warfare that both sides are engaging on. And um, yeah, so far, I think it is speculation, but the accusation is really very rare and um, it is really quite concerning. Fabian, as you say, it's very hard to verify in this uh, situation. But as to the, 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 to the motive, uh, what does South Korea have to gain? Why would they do this? Yeah, so it is a very risky move. So I would say it would not be very smart to send uh, drones to North Korean uh, capital. But if they did this, then this was um, a retaliation against um, North Korean trash balloons. So I have to explain this. Almost every day, North Korea is sending um, uh, hot air balloons filled with trash. In the beginning, there were also like human excrementes um, inside those balloons and then sent them to the south and the winds are transporting them. And uh, those um, balloons are really uncontrollable. Sometimes they would land in the airport, they would land in uh, government facilities. And so they are considered a big provocation here in the South. And um, if South Korea really did send drones towards North Korea, then I would say this is kind of a revenge for those um, trash balloons that North Korea is sending. It must be said that North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un can be prone to strong and colourful reactions. How has he reacted to this particular incident, Fabian? Yeah, it is really very remarkable that in the past, uh, Kim Jong-un, North Korea's ruler, said that if South Korea only uh, violates one inch of our national territory, then this would be perceived as an um, uh, provocation of war. And uh, so now it's really the crucial question, how will he react? And so far, it was a rather restrained response, I would say. So there were no concrete measures um, taken yet. But of course, it's a very da dangerous situation and the whole world is now looking on how this will um, escalate further because both sides are really engaging in a, in a spiral of escalation and um, that, that keeps on turning. And so far, I don't see any side uh, giving in or, or stopping from provocations. Yeah, so we're in this scenario where we're trying to measure exactly where we are. The conflict between North and South Korea is somewhat overshadowed by the other conflicts in the world right now. How great is the risk of a major escalation between these two sides? Well, it has definitely become higher, the risk, and uh, there are several reasons for that. North Korea is actually in a diplomatic sweet spot right now. They don't depend on the West anymore. I mean, they don't uh, show any willingness in, in, in negotiations with the US, for example. They uh, get instead their foreign currencies um, by trade with uh, China and most of all also Russia. So there's a big military cooperation between North Korea and, and Russia. And there are also uh, some reports uh, claiming that um, uh, North Korea is or will likely send uh, troops uh, to Ukraine uh, to fight for Putin's uh, war against Ukraine. So that is a big provocation. And at the same time, uh, Kim Jong-un is saying that he wants to increase the speed uh, with which he um, will improve his nuclear um, arsenal. That is also quite concerning. And on the other hand, in South Korea, you have a conservative president who presented recently a new unification policy. And he is very proactively claiming that he wants to increase the access of information, of critical information for North Korean people, and that he wants to um, 
um, a push for the agenda of a democratic Korean peninsula. Now, I mean, that, that is probably something that many would agree on in the international community. But in the eyes of uh, Pyongyang, this is basically a call for regime change. So um, I would say it is really quite dangerous, the situation right now, and probably it will get even worse in the coming days. Tense indeed. Journalist Fabian Kretschmer in Seoul. Thanks so much.